Lost Metaverse. It's a party, it's a party. Welcome to WNBA Basketball on 2K Sports. Our game tonight featuring the Indiana Fever as they go up against the Chicago Sky. I'm Blake Suniga, and with me at the broadcast table are Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi. And with these teams, so much talent on offense, you can see the precision they play with. Yeah, and it shows up in the way they move around the floor. Everyone knows exactly where they're supposed to be. It's also in the speed in which they set up their offense. They don't waste any time getting into sets. Now here's Carter. Pass to Onion Wade. Six on the shot clock. That falls. Nice feed that time from Kennedy Carter. Trusting in her shot. Onion Wade ready to drain it as soon as she got the feed. Here's Samuelson. Clark. She's covered by Allen. Offensive rebound. And here's Kelsey Mitchell for three. Good on the Kelsey triple. Mitchell. There is no way, and I mean no way a player like her can be left wide open like that. Now here's Carter. Pass to Onion Wade. Outside Carter. From past the arc. The Fever pull it in. Wide open misses like that can be confidence shakers. Austin with it. Covered by Cardoso. Austin inside. Cardoso on her. Parked down low that time and got hit with the three-second call. Hey, one of the best basketball families around, the Samuelsons. All three sisters, incredible shooters. Katie Lou, a 6'3 sniper who won it all in college. Carly, an excellent WNBA player who might be a better shooter. And Bonnie was a great college player as well. Now here's Mitchell. Clark, she's covered by Allen. The offensive rebound, Boston. And she was fouled in the act of shooting and opportunity for a three-point play. That's Boston. a great play in the glass, and for she her, won. it's what really we expect from her. All her second chance points do not come by accident. And one thing about this Chicago team, they play hard, they play with effort. They have such a great mindset. It's a tough one. They don't give up anything easily. And that starts with their young bigs. They set the tone. If you're going to play this Sky team, you are in for a battle. Now here's Clark. Pass to Mitchell. Clark. Boston, covered by Cardoso. Clark can't get it to go. Onion Wade with it. And Clark picks her up defensively. She gets that one. Good ball movement. She put that pass in the ideal spot, and I can guarantee you her teammate appreciated it. Back to Mitchell. Pass to Clark. The shot that time, not on target. Some solid defense there from Camila Cardoso. Now here's Allen. She's covered by Clark. The tray. The shot by Onion Wade. No good. Indiana trailing. Clark. She's covered by Allen. Here's Smith. The shot is good on the assist from Caitlin Clark. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it did not work. Not if it results in that shot. Pass to Cardoso. Now here's Allen. She's covered by Clark. From outside, off the mark. And here is Mitchell. Back to Clark. Bangs home the trifecta. Yeah, good luck. If you're the player who has to guard her, it is never going to be an easy night. Carter. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Onion Wade, shot is good. Right back at you. They immediately get those three points back. Just trading punches from long range. It's been a heavyweight fight. Here's Boston. 
Some solid defense there from Camila Cardoso. Knocked away. Stolen by Clark. Down low. Shoots over Carter. Two and eight, and there the Fever eight. with another bucket. Clark. Yeah, she could have forced the tougher shot inside, but how about the effort to make a terrific kickout pass and find the open shooter instead? Now here's Carter. Cardoso inside. She's guarded by Boston. The Fever with the lead. To the right side. Now here's Mitchell. Defense right on her. Smith, no good. You just assume she's going to knock those down when she's as open as she was there. Here's Carter. Up and in on the way. What body control from Carter there. Showing the fearlessness when she goes at the defense and finishes. The three from Kelsey Mitchell. A rebound by Camila Cardoso. Not quite enough defense that time around. Lucky she was off. I just hope that was a mistake by the defense. Because if that's how they plan to guard her, they're going to have serious problems. Now here's Clark. Five points in the game. Indiana again missing. Here's Chicago now. Here's Carter. And the rebound goes to the Fever. Didn't come away with points, but they'd be happy if every possession ended with that shot. A shot by Mitchell. No good. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Allen, she's covered by Clark. Reese gets the bucket. What a plus it is to get those looks in the paint. And they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. They got to score. Clark outside. Mitchell drills it from outside. He has really deep range. Mitchell's offensive game starts with that three-point shot. It forces defenders to pick her up at half court. Reese, that one, good for two. She's so good at recognizing where the openings are and getting that ball to the rim. From deep three-point range. And so that's a lot of scoring in a competitive first quarter. Sky out in front, up by three. Stay with us as we get set to bring you quarter number two after this. a close game here as we get back to the second quarter and when you consider how the sky are doing guys what are your thoughts not much room to operate on this one a very tough d through one you know they haven't given up a lot of easy chances at all so it's indiana now they trail by three and guys, we've heard so much about Caitlin Clark, but Brian, why don't you give a scouting report to those who haven't gotten a chance to see her play? Well, she's an incredible passer. She's got limitless range, and I think she's underrated as a defender. For the Fever, we're talking about a franchise player to build around. Here's Bantam, right wing. Here's Jefferson. <laughs> So the whistle Indiana blows foul. on the shot. Two Erica free throws Wheeler. for the contact there. Personal foul. That one on foul. Wheeler. A smaller guard, Mariah and Jefferson, is 5'6", quick. Mariah someone you Jefferson. trust to run your offense. And this is our first free throw of the game. And the first one drops. And after a fantastic rookie season, Mariah Jefferson has bounced from team to team. She finished second in the Rookie of the Year voting back in 2016, but since then, she's played for about half the league. 
And we've watched this three-point revolution over the last half decade or so. Uh, do you think we've reached our peak here? Kelsey I think Mitchell. so, Blake. I mean, when you look at the numbers, three-point attempts have been about the same since 2020. And, you know, part of that, I think, defenses have really adjusted. They've done a nice job guarding the three-point line. So it's a little bit harder to get clean three-point looks. Indiana with the ball. It's a three-point game. Back Benley. Covered by Cardoso. Here's Mitchell. It's hauled in by Harrison. To Shields with it. Guarded now by Wheeler. Here's Bannum. Another shot. Picks it out to DeShields. The three-pointer is on target. A quick thinker who does not need much time to get off a look. DeShields is a lethal shooter. Here's Dantas. Uses the glass to finish the layup. You're making things yes, far too Timmy easy for her Benley. if you let her get the ball that deep in the post. Agreed. I couldn't have said it any better myself. You know, you've got to do your work early and keep her out of that spot. Now here's Wheeler looking for her first basket still in this one. Now here's Hole covered by DeShields. To the paint. Here's Fabienlay. Yes, and Timmy, it's Demiris Dantas picking up the assist. It's great to see Dantas continue to develop as a playmaker. Her court vision just keeps Chicago, getting better. Timeout now a timeout called by Chicago. And it's been a rough few years for Indiana. They haven't been to the playoffs since 2016. Single-digit wins in five of the last seven seasons. But the good news is the Fever have loads of young talent, starting with Caitlin Clark and Aaliyah Boston, they have arguably the best young core in the W. Now here's Jefferson. Pass to Evans. To the inside. Harrison. And she drops in the layup off the glass. And this is where Harrison should look to score. I like her being aggressive inside. And here is Wallace. Evans covering. Fires for three. Chicago with the rebound. Jefferson outside. Up top to Shields. Clock at six. Count that bucket. Attacks contact with confidence. The Shields is pretty much always looking to one up her opponent. Dantas defended by Harrison. Wallace misses. Chicago in the lead. Bucket. Yeah, the floor really opened up for her there. And that was not a good reaction from the defense. Yeah, they look real slow. A nice Timmy shot by Fabenley. Great Assistant communication between teammates Mitzi there. Hull. And here's Jefferson. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach Two four minutes play. That pass led her so perfectly. She didn't even have to break stride. No, Pass to Dantas. And here's Fegbenle. Some solid defense there from Camila Cardoso. Now here's Jefferson. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two Out minutes. to the wing. To the wing, right side. And she can't Chicago extend the lead to double digits. Dana and Evans Dana. picks up the foul. That's her first, first foul. First so both team teams foul. changing it up here. The Fever trailing. Wallace defended by Carter. Caitlin Clark with the three. Mila Cardoso gets the board. Yeah, she didn't punish them for the weak coverage that time, but they just can't count on her missing. Absolutely, Brian. She's got to go right back to that shot. Now it's Reese. They lead by eight. That's the biggest margin of the game. Fires from deep. Chicago the rebound. So she gets team the whistle. Foul. Contact on the way up. Two shots. Team Next. Foul. Second team foul. That free throw missing. And at six foot seven, the strength and size of Camila Cardoso, so tough to handle. Well, she puts that frame to work, doesn't she? She's a force inside and a very exciting young player. 
Now here's Samuelson. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Right side, Carter. Basket made. Just her second this contest. She's now two for seven. Well, what you love about Kennedy Carter is that she uses her quickness to full advantage, both in half court and transition. Here's Clark. And hits one. Maybe she's ready to get back on track after that. Here's Allen. Outside Reese. Pass to Cardoso. Misses the three. And it's the fever ball. Trailing here by eight. To the middle. Here's Saxton. Christy Wallace on the wing. Clark. Reese defending. And Caitlin Clark hits from deep. Now here's Carter. Tight defense on her. And the future Carter has in this season is promising. First talented guard with a commendable work ethic. First trip to the line for her here. He's off on the first. Good on the second free throw. Shot clock's off. This could be the last possession of the quarter. That's what they should have in mind. Don't let the opponent score again. Pass to Samuelson. Caitlin Clark outside. That one, no good. One second left. Can't hit that one. The That's clock the runs out, and we're heading to half. Score. Sky out in front, up by six. We'll be right back to the action when we return. ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half to get underway. It's been quite the game for Clark. It's amazing to watch. She spoils us with her performances game in, game out. And so far, another big scoring night for her. And oftentimes, when she puts up that many points in the first half, she follows it up with an even better second half. So we'll see if that happens again here. Oh, yes, she did. Five up. Five down for her so far. She's carrying a lot of the load offensively, and normally that's good news for them. And how about Chicago in that 24 draft, taking Angel Reese seventh overall? We're talking about a player who averaged a double-double her last three years in college. But maybe most importantly for the Sky, Reese brings attitude, leadership, and gives them an identity. What vision from Carter, able to survey the court, find the open player. The three ball. Shots good by Clark. Three that points. three puts them well within striking distance, guys. She's had that shot working for her tonight. You bet she has. I mean, look, the triple has just been her bread and butter in this ball game. Yeah, remember that. I and mean, that's not an opportunity she fails to convert very often. Pass to Mitchell. Clark. Back to Mitchell. Takes it out to Clark. There's the triple. There's the three. Yes, and it's Nalissa Smith picking up the assist. And add another three-pointer to their second half total. They came out of the break dropping bombs and are just not time letting out, up. I love to time see that. Call. Timeout called the sky. Well, Caitlin Clark is as popular as anyone in this league, and it's easy to see why she's so well-liked. Yeah, she's just a fun player to watch. I mean, Clark takes those deep threes. For the field. She attempts some passes that others don't even think about or see. She brings so much excitement to the league, and a big reason why is her playing style. Now here's Carter. She's got five. 
Right side, Reese. Over Smith. And once again, off the mark by Chicago. Mitchell, defended by Carter. Boston. And count Boston. Assisted by Kelsey Mitchell. Chicago trailing here. Outside, Carter. Past Onion Wade. Now it's Reese. Allen with it. On, Tipped away. Carter. Three on the clock. Over Mitchell. And it's in. Baby. Off the backboard. You watch Carter play. You see a player who just knows how to score no matter where she is on the floor. Hull. Onion Wade covering. Shots good by Smith. That is some dime dropping. Exquisite assist. Now here's Allen. She's covered by Clark. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Good read from Carter. Very willing to give the ball up in order to get her teammates involved. Clark outside. Mitchell defended by Carter. Pass to hole. And here's Clark. And another three for Indiana. She is just bombing it today. How many more threes are we going to see from her? Well, we've already seen a lot. I mean, she's got more points from outside the arc than inside the arc. Carter misses. The Fever with the lead. Clark, she's covered by Allen. Clark can't get it to go. Now here's Allen. Defense is right there. Pass to Cardoso. Over Mitchell. And a basket by Cardoso. Founded back in 2021, the Commissioner's Cup has been an awesome addition to the WNBA season, Brian. Oh, we all have loved it. It brings extra excitement to the schedule. So much so that the NBA adopted their own version of it. Yeah, yeah it's been great in the NBA. And what I love about it, we get a final Kelsey way before Mitchell. the final. So you get a taste of postseason pressure a lot earlier. That play shows you that Mitchell doesn't have to be ball dominant to be effective. She can just catch and shoot. Reese. That ball. Nice speed that time from Lindsey Allen. Lindsey Allen dropping guys. Smith up top. Pass to hole. Here's Mitchell. Defended by Carter. Shot by Mitchell. No good. Now here's Onion Wade. Hole defending. Onion Wade. Shot is good. More than happy to mix it up inside. Onion Wade. A, a physical big. Smith, Reese defending. Man, these guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assists. When everybody's involved offensively, it's in a way helping you defensively, too. Mitchell outside. The three. It's Cardoso with the rebound. Very close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Not a great habit to get into, letting her get that wide open. Well, Indiana. the defense looking yeah, to protect the rim at all costs there. Something foul. you struggled with First in your career, foul. Tim, but definitely saved the layup with that foul. He's going to have to earn him at the line. So much excitement around this rookie class, including six foot three Angel Reese. Good luck keeping her off the boards. Lots of people excited about Angel Reese. We don't normally see rookies come into the league with an elite skill, but Reese already might be the best rebounder in the entire league. She set a college record with 34 double-doubles in a single season, winning a national title that year as well, back in 2023. Now here's Onion Wade. She's got 10. And once again, off the mark by Chicago. Pass to hole. Back to Mitchell. To end the run. Connects from three-point range. And we've reached the end of the third quarter.
just score. a terrific game Chicago. thus far. It's the sky. Indiana. They lead by two. 50. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. Thanks for joining us again as we get set for the fourth quarter. A terrific game so far. Now Allen inside. Reese gets the bucket. He's made the most of his chances, hasn't he? He needs to keep on working to get these good looks. To the paint. It's stolen by Onion Wade. Shoots off the step back. And she tries off the glass, but it's no good. Mitchell outside. Back Benley. It's Katie Lou on the wing. And the fever hit again from deep. One of the purest strokes in the game. Samuelson, a feared player from beyond the arc. Now here's Evans. D right on her. Indiana trailing. Mitchell with it, and it's Evans picking her up. Launches it. Rebound Chicago. They've led by as much as 10. And Samuelson pulls it down. And here's Veg Benley. Samuelson outside. Knocks down the three ball. Honestly, that might be the last player on the floor you want in rhythm. Can't let Samuelson get comfortable. She'll burn you. Pass to Bantam. Onion Wade. Here's Reese. Now here's Allen. Just five on the clock. Onion Wade inside. Off target at the rim. Here's Kelsey Mitchell for three. It doesn't go for her. The sky trail. Pass to Allen. Takes the three. Good on the three-point shot. I'm out called the fever. And Tim, to be about an immediate impact, Michaela Onyanwere earning Rookie of the Year honors back in 2021. Yeah, winning it for the Liberty back in 2021. However, she was traded away before the 23 season, and the Liberty were looking for some cap space to build that uh, final super team. But uh, Michaela's done a great job taking that in stride and continuing to play at a high level. Now here's Samuelson. Misses the wing three. Left side, Carter. Cardoso inside. She's guarded by Samuelson. They get it back. And a basket by Cardoso. He got caught standing around that time and giving up the second chance points. They need more effort than that on the boards. That can't happen. Absolutely. Now here's Clark. Left side Boston. Clark. Again, the miss by the Fever. Outside Carter. Pass to Bantam. Three-pointer. Hole with the rebound. Even without that three ball dropping for her, the defense should have done way more on that last play. Yeah, I mean, the D's got to be better as a coach. You can't stand seeing her having that much space to get her shot off. Really, she's had a nose for the ball. She's their top rebounder. Well, she has been today, no question. Just unbelievable effort that she's showing on the glass. Here's Bantam. From outside the arc, the offensive rebound. Pass to Reese. That one drops, and it comes off an assist from Camila Cardoso. Keep giving it to her. She just is not missing today. What a day she's had from the field. And they've needed every one of those shots she's hit. I mean, she single-handedly kept them in this game. The sky making a switch here. Lindsay. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Now Dantas, Reese defending. Caitlin Clark with the three. Hits the three-point bomb. 
Not the tightest D right there. She'll punish you if she gets the chance. That three-point shot is her bread and butter. Here's Onion Wade. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Two minutes remaining. And here's game. Indiana. Two-point Two game. Pass to hole. Back to Clark. Beyond the arc. And a fever hit again from D. What an important shot right there, guys. She's producing from deep all game long. And they need her production now more than ever. I mean, clutch three-point shooting is going to be critical here late. And here's Cole. Well, let's it go from deep. Carter with the rebound. Yeah, the great shooters, they know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice there. Yeah, not very good. He just the coverage that time, but he got lucky. Not only does Kennedy Carter put up a lot of points, Kennedy Carter scores meaningful hoops. Shots good by Clark. What a final quarter they're having from downtown. A bunch of threes falling for them. And they might as well keep going back to the well. Work that perimeter while they're hot. And work it to the final whistle. Carter misses. The Fever with the lead. Boston. Covered by Cardoso. Clark outside. Out of bounds. It'll go to the sky. Huge turnover there and at a bad time too. You have to value every possession. Kelsey Mitchell. On offense, here the sky. Now a timeout called by Chicago. The loudest and craziest fans get a free t-shirt. Let's hear it, fans. In for Indiana, Katie Lee Sanders. Now here's Carter. She's covered by Mitchell. Connects! She has tied up this game! Oh, what a shot! This is why Carter is out here. When the game is close, she knows how to come through. Now here's Samuels. Mitchell outside. Back to Clark for three. Chicago with the rebound. Critical possession right here. Crowd on Kings and Needles. Blake, be careful. Harder. And back and forth we go. That bucket gives us another lead change. And there have been too many of those to count. These teams have matched each other. Shot for shot, play for play. Man, I hope this game keeps on going forever. I'm out called the fever. What's your take, guys? They can go for the three to win or two to tie. Oh, what's your choice in this situation? Well, Tim, I don't think you set that decision in stone in this timeout. You see how things play out, but you're looking for the best shot, no matter which it is. That's a good point. First good shot I'd take. Cam's the three! Timeout, Sky. It's time for T-shirts! Carter. Oh, can't cash in. I had a foul to give, but you'd rather not have it cost you two points. First team yeah, it would have been better to use it on the floor and not on the shot, but the foul had to come one way or another. Yeah. Can't knock it down, and they really needed that one. Well, they shouldn't be in front right now, but she'll be relieved not to have come up totally again. Regulation has ended, and we are headed to overtime. We'll take a quick break. Well, if you're just joining us, this one has been a great one. We've got overtime action now, folks. Here we go. Chicago with the ball. Pass to Allen. Six to shoot. Carter. She's guarded by Samuelson. Unloads. And out of bounds. The Fever will take it. The ball goes to Indiana. Now 
now here's Clark. She's guarded closely. Back to Mitchell. Pulls it. Yes. What an assist from Caitlin Clark. You can rely on Mitchell in the big moments, and you're seeing why right now. She's a confident shooter who is always ready to score. Timeout called the Sky. Michaela on your birthday. Pass to Allen. Here's Bantam. And the call is going to be yep, an illegal screen. Sometimes the intensity of a close game can lead to bonehead plays like that one, guys. Clark outside. It's Katie Lou on the wing. Mitchell. Pass to Smith. Boston right side. And stolen by Cardoso. Back to the right wing. Here's Bannum. They get the rebound. It's good on the putback. And that's a gritty work on the offensive glass. Coach has got to be happy. Mitchell outside. Back to Clark. Smith. He's defending. Caitlin Clark with the three. Buries it from three-point range. You're just asking for trouble if you let her roam free in three-point range. To the middle. Here's Cardoso. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. That assist, that little nod from her teammate after the bucket. Mitchell outside. Back to Clark. Mitchell outside. Pass to Smith. Clark. Mitchell up top. And a fever hit Kelsey again Mitchell. from deep. And that's some Three big points. time stuff from Kelsey Mitchell. You know she loves being the one at the end, taking those huge shots. Now here's Allen. She's covered by Clark. Here's Reese. Pass to Allen. Let's it go from 11. It's hauled in by Melissa Smith. Indiana with the ball. They lead by four. Boston, covered by Cardoso. And another basket for Indiana. Yes, gets the bullseye with that assist. Nice delivery into the lane. No room for error here. You got to play perfect from here on out. Onion Wade with it. She's guarded by Samuelson. A shot by Onion Wade. No good. Smith. The shot is good on the assist from Caitlin Clark. They're not letting up, guys. They just keep coming at him. And, and I think it's safe to say that lead is too big to overcome at this point. Just not enough time on the clock. Yeah, absolutely. Multiple possessions have been the story of the game. And even with the big lead, this team continues to be quicker to the basketball. It's going to be a tough loss to swallow. They just didn't have much gas left in the tank once we hit overtime. Back to Clark. Puts up a three. Here's Boston. And so the Fever take the win. That's the they had to the scrape game. and claw to push it to overtime, but they really came Thanks on in the extra period. What a ride, boys. Make they sure thought it might end in regulation, we'll but the they came for big event. and did exactly what they needed to once we got to overtime. And that's a wrap, everyone.